What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys uh, different gear ratios with this uh, set called Kinex. Um, that's basically what it looks like. It's called Kinex right there. So um, what we have here is two um, sets of gears right here. So we have one that's a tiny gear and a big gear and you have another tiny gear and a big gear. So um, there's a big problem that I was trying to solve. So this is the Lego motor that you can use to animate your creations. But when I put this rod in here to make this work, as you can tell, it's not really moving too fast. It's really slow. So if you want to make like a car or something, it's going to take forever to even move. This is about 15 to 30 RPM. I think it's more of a um, 30 RPM rate, but that's still really slow, right? So what I did is I took these two gears right here, and I was like, you know what, let's put them together. So what this consists of is basically this red rod. I have this gear right here and then a, t a smaller gear. The gear that for every one revolution of this big gear right here is going to be one small revolution, uh, two and a half uh, revolutions of this small gear right here because this gear will turn faster because it has less uh, teeth compared to this one, which has two and a half times the amount of teeth, which and it's two and a half half times bigger. This is basically the main concept. So for every one revolution of this gear to my left or your right, it's going to spin one time and then this other red gear to my right or your left is going to spin two and a half times. Now that I'm going to put all these together into one big thing and it's going to turn to this. So here we have six gears combined together to form this to one to 2.5 gear ratio. So you keep multiplying two and a half for each gear that you have. This gear I have in the back just to support it and as you can see I barely turn this gear even a like a fourth of a revolution and it's this one's already doing dozens at a time so this is how you make it spin faster. Now this motor that you saw which was very slow I'll give you a demonstration again if you didn't see it before. That's basically how slow it is. Now you can put it in here and it's going to start skipping a little bit because um, it's very, it has to be very powerful to move this, but basically this is how it works. You can see, that's, this is a one-on-one -on -one gear ratio. For every one revolution of this gear is also one revolution of this gear. And then this one's spinning two and a half times faster than this gear. And this one's spinning about 6.25 times faster than this gear. And so on and so forth. So. This one, um, no joke, is probably spinning at um, hundreds of revolutions per minute or maybe even starting to go into the thousands of revolutions per minute uh, due to the gear ratios that I geared up. So you might be thinking, this is great because now this gear spins fast, but there is one problem. Uh, this gear, this motor has to be powerful in order to do this. If you just snudge it a little bit, you see how hard it is for all the gears to turn it. If you turn it too fast, it's gonna start skipping because like the teeth are not gonna be able to withstand the force. And then it's gonna require more torque um, for these two gears, for example, to turn this big gear right here. So you see it's kind of struggling. You, you heard that sound? That's basically it, trying to struggle to um, make that gear turn. But that's basically how gear ratios work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out all my other videos. Like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in order for me to keep posting videos. And don't forget to hit that big red notifications bell to keep up with all my latest uploads. I appreciate all you guys for all your support. And as always, thank you for watching.